Will Holy War X change Roblox? We all know Roblox has been very, very dry lately, but one game that was supposed to be the saving grace was Holy War X. In today's video, we're going to be discussing Holy War X and why I think it may be releasing sooner than you might think. Without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get straight into this non overhyping discussion. Holy War X initially was supposed to be released last year in December, probably during Christmas time, to cash out on the Christmas money that these kids were being given. As we all know, the game was delayed due to a developer on the team basically being incompetent and not doing his job correctly, according to Alpha Rex Delete developer but you may be wondering why is this game being held up to such a high standard and why are people excited for it well it's because holy war x is just one of those games similar to gpo where it will stand out among its peers in terms of quality and gameplay features in 2022 we saw tons of things holy war x related we saw magic such as ice acid light purgatory blaze and so much more and during the time when these things were being dropped many people saw just how high quality the game was and we even saw a sneak peek of the mountain in the game in one of the trailers and it was very real realistic or robust game probably some of the best i've ever seen we also saw a sneak peek of common weapons and even the skills on those look pretty good compared to other games where common weapons are usually just throwaways and no one really wants them due to this but the combat we see in these sneaks does look pretty good and pretty polished and showing that the game is coming along very nicely mind you a lot of these things came out almost a year ago so we could have heard that the game has changed quite a bit and is being worked on a ton since seeing the initial sneaks of the game along with seeing things like the customization menu which was very in-depth we even seen the initial startup screen for the game so tons of the groundwork for the game is mostly done we got confirmation of modes such as story mode and different game modes for the game the different modes within the menu sort of remind me of shinobi life 2 where you have story rpg mode and pvp all within the game and we're separated in different modes within the screen and they also showcase that the game will have a spinning system which ah you know i don't really like spinning systems but that's okay they also showed a deep dive on the customization with your character and the confirmation of different types of game passes the clothing looked great as well since they are utilizing 3d clothing instead of the basic 2d clothing most games use and a video made seven months ago alfred said the main reason why the game was initially delayed was because they wanted to make sure the game was high quality and was up to their standard which is great news for us players because let's be honest we have been receiving garbage all 2023 so when Holy War X releases, we know that this game will be something that the developers really wanted to release. Some things happen and delays happen, but I'm just glad that they are being transparent about it and didn't disappear on us like most developers. Alpha Rex, the lead developer, also took complete accountability for this delay, even though it wasn't even his fault. So I thank him for that. The last thing we saw from the lead developer himself was four months ago, where he confirmed that yes, a lot of the combat and skills were being reworked. We saw the different reworked skills for the weapons in the game. We also heard some news about aerial combat, where we'll have your basic things such as down slams laddering and just combo extenders in the air one thing i like about holy war x is the versatility when it comes to the weapons in the game from heavy hammers to light rapiers one small thing i also thought was great about the game was the lock on system and how it's sort of offset like in games like god of war where it just kind of makes the combat more maintained and more manageable for most players also makes the combat seem more cinematic and grounded with the lock on system as well we know infinite combos won't be possible since there will be evasives and iframes which will make the game just be a lot better and also it will make sure that the game doesn't turn into a gpo fest where you're constantly getting destroyed by the horrible combat system we know that the weapons are being separated into different categories ranging from common to legendary this changes the amount of moves the weapon has and most likely the damage the weapon does we also heard about the ai system that's going to be separated into difficulty levels and we also know that the ai won't be able to gang up on you which is great expert npcs are called storm guards where they are, of course will be more difficult to defeat and are used to keep the city in the game safe along with this being confirmed they also have a wanted system in the game similar to gta where basically the storm guards will come after you if you decide to terrorize the different cities in the game i really like this system because it makes the game feel more immersive and allows for more role-playing elements in the game since a lot of games don't have this it makes the game feel a lot more unique along with the weapons we got the confirmation of the fighting styles that are going to be in the game including meliodas and probably other fighting styles from the show as well another thing that was confirmed alongside this was a stealth system which if done incorrectly could be really bad but if done correctly it could be really good so i'm really excited for this because i've never seen this done before in a robust anime game now on to some more recent news about the game we know that for the testing for holy war x has pretty much already started since youtubers like revolver ags and like kage were able to test the game and give more information on the release and other gameplay features revolver was one of the first people to test the game in one of his videos earlier this year we saw him pvp against alpha rex and the combat looked 
great and even more polished and with a few things being unfinished so we know that the game is being steadily developed still we know the game will have emotes like this is fortnite or something not even sure why that was even added we also got a little peek at the map which to me looked very well built the only thing about the map was how big it was we know that alpha rex is used to big maps since he worked on demon fall the only thing is that i hope he learned from demon fall what i mean by this is that i hope holy war x is not just big and empty and actually has things within it to do because demon fall had this major problem where you would just run around for hours so i'm really praying holy war x won't have the same exact issue due to how big the map seems to be already the thing is that we already know that the game is going to have flight so hopefully that will help us travel through the map but for the other races i hope that they also have transversal options similar to the flight so that it can be fair we know that the map will have caves and it will allow you to explore and will have different types of exploration features such as fishing and things like that we have heard this in many games and many games lie about this but i hope alfie actually took inspiration from arcane since he likes that game as well alpha x confirmed in this video that there will be all different types of quests and the quests will be in depth and will have objectives to them so it's not just your basic go kill this many bandits but the map does look beautiful though with the big and detailed city so props to the map builder for this game we know the buildings will actually have use to them and will have various different blacksmiths and such around the map that will help you along your journey through the game but there was also a video posted two months ago of a conversation between ags and alpha rex where he confirmed that tons of things were being reworked like combat and such since the rail collab was confirmed and he said that the rail brothers encouraged him to make the game even better than it already was he said that the game will be split between islands and all the islands will have something to do on them which is great and there will be a parkour system as well with the map being this big this is very very important one of the biggest things said was that the game is going to be on all platforms even vr so they are focusing on optimizing the game properly so it can run on all these platforms rail c's and holy war x collab will work through connected events with both games and will have joint updates where rewards will be shared between each game now like i said sly kage was also able to test the game sly states that alfie wants to go above and beyond with just works which means he wants the game to be the absolute best and wants it to stay alive for a long time and not just take his bag and leave like most developers we also heard that the game will not just be a seven deadly sins game but will feature many different things from all different types of anime which is pretty good in my opinion because i personally think seven deadly sins is horrible it's pretty cool that they're adding other stuff i just hope it's not like a shindo life situation where it's absolutely terrible and there's all different types of stuff and the game's a mess so now the question is can holy war x change roblox and will it be releasing soon well about the release alfie stated that they are aiming for a summer release so that is really soon since june has already ended and we are well into summer now also with various different people testing the game we could assume that alfie is preparing to let more people test and play the game leading up to its eventual public release which will probably be really soon he even stated in this comment recently that the game will be trying for a summer release now can the game change roblox really depends on if alpha rex can live up to all the promises he has made on the game because if he actually follows through i can see this game and row c's changing the landscape of enemy roblox community for a long time we will just have to see when the game finally releases we know that you can test the game if you decide to buy the premium tester spot which is 250 dollars usd which is absolutely insane but if you want to spend a bag go ahead me personally though i'm going to spend my bag on something else you fat you stink and you ugly and you broke monkey and you're the feo mono but as I say in every video, if you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this one, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.